Hello lovelies. There's a new green relic in town and everything indicates that these are the next step in unlocking the mystery surrounding the Proteus's wave malfunction and possibly the start of unlocking new equipment to bring the fight to the Thargoids. So I thought I'd quickly put together the easiest way that I found to go about creating this new relic. For your ship build, you will need a fuel scoop, cargo racks, an SRV bay with a scarab SRV, and a corrosion resistant cargo rack. If you don't have one of these, size 1 corrosion resistant cargo racks are available exclusively at either Able Laboratory on Arc 4E or Cinder Dock on Shen V A6. As the relic site I prefer to use requires you to use Shenvi as a jumping off point, I'd recommend heading to Shenvi. Your next step is to find a Guardian site. While there are many dotted around the galaxy and you can probably find some a little closer to you, I recommend heading to Trapezium Sector YU-XC1-2 and using the ancient ruin site there. The best part about using ruin sites as opposed to guardian structures is that you don't have to deal with guardian sentinels getting up in your business, which is why I've not included point defence in the build recommendation and I personally find that the guardian relics are a lot easier to find and lock onto. Once the relic rises out of the ground, shoot it until it pops off, then scoop it up. You might occasionally have to get out of your buggy to shoot it with a gun, but more often than not you can complete it easily from the comfort of your own SRV. There are a fair few relics around this site, so once you've picked up the four that your SRV can carry, take them back to your ship and then re-log to replenish the site. I'd recommend collecting enough relics to be divisible by three for ease of conversion while having enough space left to pick up at least one other thing. But once you've grabbed all of the relics that you wish to convert, you can start to head to our next destination. You may wish to do a quick stop off at the converted anaconda that's also on this planet as there is a bit of lore there and it's an amazing place to visit. But onwards to Delphi. If you can't plot to Delphi, use Shenvi as your jumping off point. Depending on how many SRVs you have and how your ship is doing, you can stop off at the Oracle in Delphi for a quick refuel and repair before heading to Delphi 5A. Thanks to a previous triggering of Salvation's superweapon, there are a fair amount of crashed Thargoid ships on the planet. If you get within a thousand meters of one of these wrecks, you might see a notification that you're being scanned. That means that there is a Thargoid sensor here and we can use that to gain access to the Thargoid base. Head over and pick either one or two up and then take them back to your ship quickly as while they're on your SRV they are causing corrosive damage. Once you have these Thargoid sensors, head to the unknown structure on the same planet. Land as close as you can to the central point Hop into your Scarab SRV and transfer three relics and a Thargoid sensor to your cargo. Head to one of the doors, which will open because you have a sensor in your SRV, and then jettison the sensor just inside the door. Find the central room of the structure within your SRV, drive over the small holes and jettison a relic in each one. Once all of the relics are dangling in their spots, scan the central column with your SRV. It will explode and the environment will get suddenly more hostile. But at this point, the relics will have converted. You can choose to brave the heat and the scavengers spitting at you and try and collect them now, or you can wait for about two minutes for the process to finish its cycle from a corridor, blasting the couple of scavengers that come and hunt you out, and then go and pick up the newly converted relics. Be sure to head out the same door as you came in so you can pick up the probe on your way out so that you can get back in to redo this process. Go back to your ship, switch out the unclassified relics for more guardian relics and then rinse and repeat. You do not need to relog as the process at this point has already reset. So what can you do with these now you have them? As of the time of recording, not an awful lot. 
However, if you fly by either of Ramtar or Professor Palin's bases in Mean and Ark respectively, they both send you a message asking to take a look at them for science purposes and will pay you handsomely for them, Ramtar giving a bit more than Palin for the privilege. Thanks for watching. If you have any further questions, I highly recommend the Elite Dangerous category over on Twitch, where a whole host of commanders will be more than happy to answer any questions that you may have. You can find me at twitch.tv slash scikit on Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays and Fridays from about 11.30am UK time. <laughs>